Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Lebanon, and we are staying just for one night at a monastery in this beautiful, lush, it's gorgeous valley. And we arrived late last night, so couldn't even really walk around and didn't even really see the property. But in this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of our room. I'm gonna walk you around. We're gonna see the, the entire monastery. And then breakfast is in one hour at 8 a.m. So we'll walk around for an hour and then go to breakfast at the monastery. But this, oh man, if I stop talking, all you can hear is the river below. Okay, there are some cats. Can you hear those cats? But that is it. This is a, it's a quiet, such a quiet, such a beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, car just passed through. So you can actually drive a car through here. It's like through the gate of the monastery and then it goes down, but it's really sharp turn and a really steep hill down. But this is the, the main entrance here. The entire Kadisha Valley, it's been inhabited since the fourth century BC before Christ, uh, continually inhabited. And especially it was inhabited by monks who were, uh, who occupied the entire Kadisha Valley, especially in the cave systems, in the rock cavities. I, I think it's amazing how half of the monastery is within the cave rock cavity, whereas the other half is like built with a face construct. Did. Let's head up this way right now. Get to our room first. Staircase is built right next to the rock, right next to the cliff. You've got a cave down here and then a shrine built into this cavity of rock as well. A grotto. And come to, this is the main entrance kind of of our, I guess of the guest house of the, of the rooms. This door weighs like a few hundred kilos. Wow. This must weigh like a ton. I mean, it's one of those doors that just swings with, you could just feel the weight on the swing, on the hinges, resting on the hinges. Okay, I'm gonna keep my voice now when we're in here. Our, our room is right upstairs. But then if you come over to the left-hand side, you can see, wow, it's so quiet. I don't know if there's lights in here. But anyway, this is a beautiful chapel. And yeah, now you can see exactly what I was talking about before, uh, where half of the, monastery is built in the cave in the rock and the other half is built man-made with blocks with rocks with constructed yeah and you can just imagine the acoustics how like if you were singing or even talking how the the voices would just echo off the low cave roof in here And I'll go show you our room next. So actually one flight down, downstairs. Micah, hello mommy and Micah. Hello mommy and Micah. It's guest house style. So the rooms are basic, uh, but they are modern. They are still modern. I'm not gonna do my typical hotel bed test where I jump on the bed to test the bed for fear of breaking the bed here, but I will just sit down. It is quite a creaky bread bed, but I slept very well. I think it's pretty comfortable. And it is like warm and cozy, that's for sure. And then a window opening up to the beautiful nature. Yeah, that's what's the highlight for sure is the nature, the views, the mountains, the valley. And then over on this side is the bathroom. The bathroom is basic, but it does have everything you need. I'm very fine with it. The sink, the shower situation, kind of compartment, and then the toilet is here. The only thing is that there's no hot water, or either that or we didn't figure out how to turn on the water heater. And it was cold last night too. It, it, in the winter, it's really cold. Even in the summer, it's cool. Uh, so with no hot water in the shower, I skipped taking a shower last night. Uh, it would be nice if there's hot water, but possibly I just don't know how to turn on the hot water. Okay, I think that's everything in the room. You have some cabinets, haven't even looked inside of here. Extra blankets. Good morning, Micah, how are you? From here, we're gonna walk around and see more of the actual monastery. I don't think we've even really seen the monastery yet. Ready, Micah? Oh, back out through this heavy iron gate. That will take all your strength to open and close. 
And then we're gonna go down back through this archway and then to the, to the front part of the monastery. The fresh mountain air, the air is so fresh. You can smell the pine, you can smell the, maybe the cedars, you can smell the herbs, the shrubs. Over here, here's another shrine. There's so many shrines built into the rock, built into the caves. I'm gonna take this little staircase going up here. Up here looks like some really ancient caves as well. Oh, this is a little chapel in here. A little hidden chapel, it's functional here. kind of dark in here. But that's what's amazing about the entire Kadisha Valley is just there's so many caves, so many churches, so many shrines. This church, which is built within a hanging rock overface, uh, it says it dates back to 1215, the Maronite Church. Oh, actually, that looks really cool too. A staircase up the stone, maybe a shrine up there. I gotta go check it out. Oh, ah! Okay, then climb up these rock staircase. This is very cool. I may not risk that narrow rock climb up to the, the little cave on the other side, but we can see the shrine. We can see the, I guess he's a priest or a monk um, that's in that rock face next to the tree. That's quite a, quite a steep fall though. I can hear water. That's gotta be fresh water from the, the rock. It is refreshing. That's wonderful. I saw another cave in this direction that looks really cool. Wow. Oh, Ying, you gotta come check this out. Wow, you can feel that cold air coming from the cave. Oh, this one is huge. Wow. This is really impressive. And you can imagine, especially caves like this, were the ones that were for sure inhabited hundreds and thousands of years ago. It's so eerie, especially being the only one in here. It's so eerie, so peaceful, so, wow, so mystical. expecting this this is gorgeous opens up into this courtyard this monastery just keeps on going with different structures different buildings different caves it is now oh yeah okay it's 8 a.m. we can go have breakfast okay breakfast time it's 8 a.m. okay cup thank you very much oh is that labane Labne, Labne, fromage, fromage, all the vegetables. I'll start with the tomato and a, and a whole cucumber. The tomatoes and cucumbers in Lebanon are just outstanding, always. Since I'm not going to eat all this, I think I'll just do it on my plate. I'll take a little bit. That is a lot of leavening. Onto my plate with the vegetables. And then I'll just drizzle on my own olive oil. And onto the vegetables as well. Okay, that's good. Leavening with tomato is really good. Or with any kind of vegetables, actually. Mm. Oh, tomato is good. Yeah. Tomatoes are always good. In this entire region of the world, in Lebanon, they're so juicy, so sour, tart, but sweet. Chase that with an olive. Wonderful. I love, I can drink this all day, every day. Okay, now the manoushe. You can smell that za'atar. It's okay, not the best one I've ever had. Um, the bread is not that fluffy, more kind of like crackery. And then the za'atar is not that strong. I like a strong za'atar on my manoushe. 
But this is like, this is as common of a breakfast as you get in Lebanon. I think what I'll do is I'll put some of that, I think it's goat cheese, could be goat cheese. I'll put some of that goat cheese on it. Well, I'm not sure if it's goat cheese or not. But. Mm. Mm. That cheese is delicious. I think it is goat cheese, but only, I only know because we had it yesterday at a different restaurant. And it tastes similar. <laughs> it's just sliding around in olive oil. I can't, okay, there we go. I think this is my favorite combination though, the tomato and the lebanese. Mm. Breakfast was okay, not, not that impressive. My favorite thing were the tomatoes and the cucumbers. I can eat that all day long just with olive oil. And we only stayed here for one night, kind of like just passing through because this was a convenient location. Accommodation again is basic, but then you, I mean, this is the type of, you're not really expecting more than basic accommodation at a monastery. People would come here more to, to really get the relaxation, to be with nature, to, to contemplate, to pray. A big thank you for watching this video and please remember to subscribe and I'll be publishing more travel reviews, more hotel reviews and airplane reviews and travel tips. So thanks again for watching. Goodbye from the Kadisha Valley in Lebanon. See you on the next video.